I'm Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm here at FedEx Forum where the Tigers won their 12th straight with a big 30-point win over Tulsa, 94-64. Memphis jumped out early in the first half thanks to a series of big plays from DJ Steffens, who put up nine points in the first five minutes of play, leading the Tigers to a 14-4 run over the first 5-15. Memphis built a 13-point lead, but Tulsa strung together an 8-0 run of its own, cutting the lead to five. Tigers defense came up big over the next 10 minutes, posting 9 blocks, 4 of them courtesy of Steffens, and 6 steals to create offense and a series of runs to go up 17 at half, 49-32. Steffens had a double-double, 15 points and 10 rebounds in the half. In the second half, the Tigers continued to light it up all over the floor, shooting over 50% from behind the arc in the second half. The Tigers were led by Antonio Barton, who went 5 from 8 from the field, including 3 triples for 13 points in the half. Chris Crawford added to the shooting clinic, going 2 for 3 from outside. Tarek Black kept the crowd on its feet with 8 points and dominated the glass in the second half with 4 boards, finishing with 9. Memphis continued to build its lead throughout the remainder of the half, shooting 48.5% from the field. The Tigers put together a complete performance, rolling to a 94-64 win. Once again, four Tigers scored double-digit points with Barton leading the way with 16 points, Steffens posting a double-double with 15 points, 13 rebounds, along with five blocks, Crawford with 13 points, and Shaq Goodwin added 10. After the game, we talked to DJ Steffens, Tarek Black, Antonio Barton, and head coach Josh Pastner. Um, it's definitely a statement game. Um, every game you have the possibility to make it a statement game, but today we came out and we proved to people that we could put two halves together and that when, when a team's down, we can put them away and continue to increase the lead. Tonight they were playing off me a little bit and I was getting open shots and tonight I just decided to take them and they were going in. And I was just feeding off my teammates and they were telling me if I get an open shot, take it. So that's what I did tonight. The defense was really good, but um, knocking down all those threes and Antonio was ridiculous. Um, you can't really, I don't know, defense wins championships, but at the same time, my offense, it carried the way. I'm just, just going up there and shooting with confidence. I mean, a lot of guys in the past, they missed their first shot, and they think, oh, well, should I shoot the second one? Should I shoot the next one? You just got to let it come in and let the game come to you. No matter how many you miss, a shooter is never going to stop shooting. It's going to fall eventually, so that's what we did. We just came out. We missed some shots, but we made some shots. Guys played well. It was, it was a uh, a good 40 minutes of basketball. I think that's a good basketball team, Tulsa. They're well coached, um, and um, you know they're well coached. They got good players. I think Coach Manning does a really good job, and um, so that's a good win for us. Um, to win 15 of 16 is not an easy thing. We have continued to get better. Do we have room for growth? Absolutely, we do, and. Um, but that's a good, that's a good win, because it's that's a good basketball team we beat. That's a 94-64 win for the Tigers. Steffens and company head to Dallas next Wednesday to take on SMU. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Jared Brown.